We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm here with First Updates Now. I'm here at the first alumni collegiate competition here with the Ohio State University. And they're going to talk to you a little bit about the robot. We've got Eddie and Isaac here, so I'm going to turn it over to them. Hello, I'm Eddie. Um, so first, we're going to talk about the uh, harvesting subsystem. So over here, we have uh, mechan wheels with some green compliant wheels. So what it does is that when we drive it to a ball, it would suck. It would vector the ball to the middle and it would suck it in. So let me try to. And then once it gets in, um, we have our um, ramping system with polycord and nylon tubing that would take it up. Okay. It would take it up. So let me just get the controls. Can you hold this? Yeah. And we're not pressurized right now, but this door here would actually hold the um, the power cell into the robot until we are ready to unload it into the low goal. At that point, we would have it slapped down. It, it would go at like that into the low goal. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Isaac to talk about the um, climber. All right. So for the climber, the basic premise is a winch-based climbing system. So we have a Neo motor through a 35 to 1 gearbox. Uh, and we did torque calculations on that to ensure that that would be able to lift the weight of our robot. Uh, the other interesting feature of this climber is that we have a motor up on top here. Um, so once we're on the bar, we're able to drive back and forth on it to change where we are on the, ball and are on the bar and control our balance against other teams. Um, the only other thing to mention is that we do have a ratchet attached to our drive shaft there so that once we're up in the air, we can't back drive too far. Um, so let me get, Eddie, can you come control it? So we'll run through a full cycle of what it looks like to extend and retract the arm. So to start it extending, normally we uh, just jerk the drivetrain forward to pop a hook off, and then it's free to release. And then once it reaches full height, it can fall onto the bar and then continue rotating to winch it back down and lift the robot off the ground. All right. Awesome. So you wanted to plug something you said? So uh, we, we do have a website. We have a YouTube channel. We have a Twitch stream. So our website is firstrobotics.osu.edu. Uh, we have, also have a Chief Delphi thread, so ask us any questions you have about the robot or anything else. And um, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Well, I, I do want to ask you guys, like, what challenges did you run into when you were building this robot? What are the difficulties? Like, we, I know we were just working a little bit with the pneumatics there. There's all sorts of challenges that come up in FIRST Robotics. What's challenged you throughout this season? Um, definitely pneumatics this year because we ordered some parts, but we didn't really have a lot of parts. So a lot of gracious teams helped us out and really um, helped us, help us build this robot here, building us some parts. But one of the biggest challenges um, for us, I think, not really in the building was fine, but actually finding time for everyone to meet up because we have school in the meantime while doing this. So that's one of the uh, biggest challenges we had, but we still meet at work. Uh, in terms of mechanical challenges, one of the big things for us was the best way to get the climber arm up above the robot. Originally, we were actually wrapping the, uh, the cable around the back end here, but that wasn't generating enough torque to lift it. So we actually just added this gas shock this morning. So. Um, Part of things for like first teams who are watching to think about is that if you plan carefully, you can make pretty significant changes to your robot on competition day. Uh, but it does require planning ahead and sort of thinking through the mechanics of what you're doing before you try to implement those changes. Awesome. Nice job, guys. Again, I'm Ben. I'm here with First Updates Now. I'm here with The Ohio State University at the first alumni collegiate competition. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.